Good afternoon, everyone. What's going on? Uh, we're back to another video. So last time we were left off with getting a bunch of stuff out of the Evo, um, and this time around we're just going to continue doing so. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff to take out, like the AC, uh, power steering. Uh, we have the alternator to take out. So all that stuff is going to uh, to come out. I'm also going to try to disconnect the axles, um, and then if we get to it, maybe. Uh, pull out the pin out of the, uh, the transfer case so we can disconnect it too. Um, in the meantime, for now, as you can see, I got a bunch of stuff to, um, to get rid of around the Evo. You know, the Evo just kind of sits in the corner of the shop, so I have to share a space for the project, which is okay. I'm glad to have a space to even work in, so um, we'll get rid of all this stuff, um, then jump right into it. Um, stay tuned and let's see how far we get today. We just got the power steering pump out. Came up, came up with this great idea. I don't know if you guys could see this yet. Of uh, central powder coaters, we uh, we plugged up all these all these holes so nothing leaks with, uh, with some powder coating plugs. Actually worked out pretty good.
All right, made a little progress. Got the AC condenser out, power steering out. We took out the bracket on the bottom just so it's a um, little less stuff to bang around once we take this thing out. The alternator in the back is out also. Um, so now what we're gonna do is disconnect the heater core lines, the fuel line, the clutch line. Um, and I think that's pretty much it up here. And then we'll move on to the axles, transfer case and everything else. But progress is progress. This is all the stuff. So alternator, AC pump. Um, and the hell is that? That is a power steering pump. And we got the lines over there, the belts out, everything's labeled. So hopefully I'll go back together the way it should. Oh, and we gotta disconnect the the shifter cables off the tranny. Um and that's it. Pretty boys here. Mike's helping. So moving right along. Clutch lines disconnected, which is here. The fuel lines are disconnected, which are over there. The heater core lines are disconnected. Um, oh, and the shifter cables are also disconnected, which are laying here. So that's pretty much it up here, I think. Um, I guess we move on to the rest of the stuff, get the axles out. Um, and keep it going. That's weird. That's really weird. <laughs> That's so strange. That's probably the coolest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> What's it called? It's just, I think it's a two-push brush. It's supposed to be like a cancel. But they make it quarter inch. It's like 35 bucks for two. That's a good deal. All right.
We're getting somewhere. The axles are pulled, which I know isn't hard to do, but I smacked my nose while I was doing it. Um, there's a bunch of tranny fluid that's leaking under there, which is okay. Um, so what we'll do now is pull, pull the shaft out that connects the tranny to the transfer case. And I think we'll call it quits for today. Um, next time around, we'll disconnect the transfer case from the tranny and then she'll be ready to be pulled. So, um, oh, uh, my buddy Adam let me the, the puller. And I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but we just kind of put the claws around the bolt uh, after it's screwed into the to that input shaft and and just yank her out. It worked before, so so it'll work again. video turn down turn down for what tear down all right turn no <laughs> no all right tear down video number two is done we'll catch you on the next one got a bunch of stuff done um, I think I think the next one will be pulling it out so we'll see how that goes all right, Mike. I hope so. Let's make it happen. Later. Ooh, my hand.